Uh, good afternoon. Um, can you hear me okay? Is that all right? Uh, my name is Mark Buchanan, and uh, I work with the West Virginia Conservation Agency, and um, we've partnered up with the city of Huntington and the Four Pole Creek Watershed Association um, to try to address some of these water issues because it's, 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 it's a resource concern. Um, a lot of issues uh, plague the, uh, the streams in the area, um, and, and, we, and we're all tied in together with what's called non-point source pollution. Um, rain barrels are a small step in the right direction. Um, I've seen different numbers. When you start talking about impervious surfaces um, in urban settings, I've seen uh, uh, some numbers that talk about on the average size home, an inch of rain will produce over a thousand gallons of water. And if you start looking at the number of homes uh, when you have a highly populated area, that's a lot of excess runoff that ends up in the storm drain uh, systems that over, you know, if you have a, a significant event, those, um, the storm drain uh, will get inundated and then the, uh, the treatment facilities, they have to let it go. They, they can't close everything off and try to treat it because it backs up. And so that's released out into the rivers and uh, then you have a health hazard. Um, what I'm going to show here is a, a pretty basic build. Um, I've had folks call it the upside down rain barrel because usually folks think, uh, uh, think it belongs on the other end. But uh, I was fortunate enough this past um, summer to have an intern um, from Marshall University to, uh, to work with me on some of these issues that I usually just don't have time for. And she did some, re she did some research and found this little design here. We did a, uh, a pretty successful um, rain barrel workshop back at Ritter Park. Um, over at Ritter Park back in July and had a pretty good turnout. I think we gave away about 25 barrels or so. Um, these are very simple to build. Um, you're looking at just some basic tools, uh, hole saw. I think this one is a three and five eighths. Um, I don't have it on here, but I've got some, uh, some sheets over here if you are interested in building. Uh, you know, all the specifics as far as your hole saws, um, spade bits and things like that. And if you don't want to go out and purchase those things, you can uh, you know, shoot me an email. I'll make my email available to you or a phone number that you can borrow these off of the Conservation District office. Uh, the Conservation District office is just out on 52, just, just before you get to Lava Lad on the right-hand side in the USDA Service Center. So uh, we have those there if you want to borrow instead of go out and buy, because uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is about 15 or 20 bucks. Um, so nonetheless. Uh, like Jen was saying, um, the stormwater is, as it is right now, it's a liability. Um, but you can actually turn it into something that you can use in your garden. You can wash your tools off uh, as you see fit. This is just your average 55-gallon drum. I'm going to turn it over. And when you get a, when you get a barrel, it's, if you can get a food-grade barrel, that's going to be better. Um, this one came from uh, Floyd's Produce up on Route 60 where Alternate 10 and, and 60 come together. And this was just some basic windshield detergent that they had in this one. I would recommend really, when you have a situation like that, to rinse it out really, really well. Um, it, it's probably not going to impact plants too bad, but still. Uh, if you can find food grade, that would be better. And a lot of times you can get with uh, you know, Pepsi, Pepsi Cola bottling, Coca Cola bottling. Um, they'll, they'll sell them for very cheap. As a matter of fact, the workshop that we had back in July, we purchased them for about $7 a piece. Um, I think at Floyd's, you're probably looking at something like uh, probably uh, 15 bucks or so. I don't know what he's charging this year, nonetheless. Um, with this particular design, all you're going to do is you're going to remove one of the caps, these little plastic caps, and there's an inset um, inside here that we're going to drill out with a space bit. I'll do that right here. This is tough with all these wires, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> um, yeah, let's... Uh, here, you can just plug it into... Okay. If you look inside here, there's actually threads on the plastic caps. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the spade bit. This is a three-quarter inch spade bit, um, but you, you're probably going to have some varying sizes with the different types of barrels. Whoever your barrel manufacturer is might, might alter uh, just to some degree. But uh, I'm 
Okay. You might want to have it. Uh oh. Yeah, I turned it off. I might have unplugged it. Oh. Did I break it? Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. I apologize. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the spade bit, and I've got a little two by four that I'm going to turn over and face it flat against it. Then I'll turn the drill on and just open that up. That's all right. Okay, and it's opened up now. Uh, if you. Uh, you might take a razor if you need to and kind of clean up the edges. That bit might be a little bit dull. That's why we got a lot of uh, little pieces of plastic on the inside. But we're actually finished with this part right here. And once this goes back in, you've got a pretty watertight seal um, with that little grommet. That'll go in just like that. Now we're going to have. Basically, before you go and you cut anything, you're going to try to set the barrel uh, in the same position you're going to have it up against your house. And then you're going to come and use the larger hole saw. And this is where your downspout's actually going to enter into the, uh, to the rain barrel. And on those sheets that uh, I made available to everybody, there is a, uh, a list of everything that you're going to need. This is uh, just a downspout adapter. I'm going to make sure that I get this hole put on the right side. <laughs> okay, since I'm going to be uh, since my downspout's coming down here, I'm going to put the hole here, and my, uh, my faucet handle's going to be on the outside here. I don't know if anybody uses these larger hole saws, but if your uh, drill has a lot of torque, you can almost pop your wrist. I mean, you can do, uh, you can do quite a bit of damage. went quite well. Okay. Basically, got a nice clean hole at the top. One of the issues if you are storing water or is mosquitoes. Um, basically, you can take a small piece of uh, screen, put it over the end of your adapter, and this will fit right down there just perfect. Now it's tight and you don't have to be concerned with mosquitoes getting in there and laying eggs. Myself, uh, if I were to put this outside my house, I don't care much for this overhang. So you can take a razor, just kind of clean it around the edge and clean it up real nice. Um, if you have a lot of leaves uh, that come down into your gutters, you have to watch because this will actually get filled up with leaves. So you know, every other week or so, you might want to look and check. If you've got a lot of debris, all you have to do is pop it out, run it under the hose, pop it right back in, you're good to go. So believe it or not, we're done with this end. Put my foot under there. You know where my, uh, my tape went? The uh, Okay. Um, anytime you're putting threaded uh, pipe together, you want to use some sort of uh, like a thread seal type tape or pipe dope. This is the wrong one. There we go. No, we're fine. 
I'm just going to place just a small amount on these threads. Would you get the, the other bag over there for me? Okay, and this will actually thread right down in here. Watch it make me out into a wire. Um, this barrel probably needs to be rinsed out. And you can hand tighten, and it should be it should be watertight. You'd probably want to check afterwards. I'm going one more time. Okay. I apologize to the speakers next. <laughs> I'm making one heck of a mess up here. I'm also going to thread my hose bib. Right across here. <laughs> 